Advanced biomechanical rehabilitation is a new method that brings clear and obvious improvement in musculoskeletal structure and motor function, even in cases of severe motor disorders. This video demonstrates ABR effects, progress in structure and function achieved by a variety of our patients, both children and young adults, over the period from September 2001 until September 2003. First case is an example of severe spastic quadriplegia. By the age of three and a half years old, this child is severely spastic, cannot sit, doesn't use his hands at all, etc., despite intensive physical therapy for all these three years. The first frames of the video show the profound distortion of his entire trunk. Rib cage deflated, lower ribs spread apart, abdomen bulges. Therefore, that brings us to the very fundamental, to the very fundamental point. Right? which is when he tries to move his head pushes backwards and simultaneously both of his arms start to move there is no independent mobility this flying test when the child is supported by the chest shows the absence of true head control and the immediate collapse of the arms and legs the child lands with his head down unable to move it away or to produce any protective reactions with his arms. When he tries to move, his spastic arms are drawn under his body his spastic legs are pulled under his pelvis, making him completely incapacitated in this position. So therefore, that's why he pulled the wrong side. Side view clearly shows his distorted ribs. And the other thing that I didn't... When put in supported sitting, a boy takes a position that reminds of a shape of a letter C. His movements cause rigid extension of his body. As a result, his legs stiffen involuntary and his slides. This sliding is a result of his inability to sit on the bottom of his pelvis. He contacts the surface with his sacrum instead. So you see today, today you will be able to see that so far, so far, he's still sitting on his foxy. Another view at sitting position shows a bulge of his weak abdomen and spread of his ribs. As a result, his legs are rigidly extended. We pay this special attention to the deformities and weaknesses of the trunk because the recovery of a normal structure of the neck, thorax, abdomen, pelvis is the key to ABR success in improvement of motor functions. The middle abdomen and the lower abdomen. This zoom-in view gives another opportunity to see his distorted ribs bulging vertebral column and sitting on his sacrum. Isolation of the movement of the leg. Right? So you see one of the next things that you will be able to see that the, he will be able to shift from sitting on his coccyx to shift, you know, to shift the vector so he will start become straight here. So today he has this, his pelvis is tilted backwards when he, when he sits. Observing the earlier video, some people would say that the boy is sitting poorly because he was upset and cried. This video shows him being relaxed. However, it is still very much clear that the sitting is impossible. Instead of rigid extension seen when he was crying, he just clasps and collapses forward. But when he tries to move, his rigid extension returns. He has no protective reactions with his arms, no counterbalance of his upper body, and as a result, he just falls as a single block. It is very important to understand that when the sitting is possible, it is always possible, no matter if the child is crying or happy. And if the sitting is impossible, that is impossible. This view highlights once more his incapacitation when his chest is put in weight bearing. His arms and legs collapse, he has no control of the head. When put in the quadruped position, being on his knees and elbows, the boy is completely unable to move.
That is the level from where we started his ABR program. ABR program addresses the structure, and ABR program is always done alone, without any other physical methods in parallel. Now you see this child less than two years after. Time is July 2003. His functional improvements are obvious. He can now sit very much upright, supporting himself. His legs are much more relaxed. His arms are now functional. He uses them for support and can even scratch himself. His upper body changed completely. His abdomen gained strength and no longer collapses under his weight. His entire chest grown considerably and his ribs no longer spread apart. These changes are the essence of ABR concept. We demonstrate that the most important role in posture is played by the tone and strength of internal muscles of thorax and abdomen, which we call visceral skeleton, and not by superficial muscles as usually thought of. Proper volume and strength of the neck and trunk creates independence of mobility of the arms and legs, and the independence of their mobility converts in functional improvement. You can see that the movements of his arms are now separate from the balancing of his body. Obvious, his hands have a lot of room for further improvement, but the contrast is quite dramatic. That. This time the boy is five and a half years old. For the first three years, intensive physical therapy addressed at the arms and legs only saw them getting stiff. Two years of ABR addressed at his core structure, head, neck and trunk, showed dramatic improvement of his arms and legs. Amazingly, all this progress of his arms has been spontaneous. We never worked on them directly. That is the main message of ABR. Changing the structure of the head, neck and trunk brings automatic improvement in the structure and function of the arms and legs. Much more than when working on them directly attempting to train function. That is very different from a classic concept when all the focus is on the arms and legs while the trunk, head and neck are neglected. We saw in the previous video that this boy was completely incapacitated when put on his knees and elbows. Today he can go up on his knees using his hands for support. You can see that he separately controls his upper body, he uses one hand for support and he uses another hand for function. That's quite a dramatic contrast from simultaneous involuntary movements that he had less than two years before.